Hi, my name is Sam. I'm a former student at KCP. I studied during the fall 2019 semester and I just wanted to talk a little bit about the different experiences and opportunities presented by KCP. So when people hear of KCP, they sometimes hear that the classwork is pretty intense and the daily regimen is pretty fast paced. And that is true. You are going to get a lot of work and you're going to be doing a lot of quizzes in class almost every day. But I think the important thing is to talk about the time that you have outside of class. So despite the amount of homework and quizzes that you might be given, you are going to have a decent chunk of free time. And in my case, I had plenty of free time after studying even to explore Tokyo and Japan. If you are immersing yourself in the culture as much as possible and listening to native speakers and practicing Japanese with the locals, you're just going to excel in your Japanese ability so much faster than you would um, just in the classroom alone. Because I studied during the fall, I actually got to experience Japanese Halloween in Tokyo, which was very memorable. Um, I went to Shibuya on Halloween night, which was kind of just turned into this giant party with everybody dressed up in interesting costumes and everyone just having a really great time. So if you end up studying for the fall semester, I definitely recommend checking out Shibuya around Halloween because it'll definitely be something to remember. If you're not really sure where to go, then luckily KCP organizes a lot of student trips outside of class um, almost every weekend and you're going to get the opportunity to sign up for these class excursions and get to see more of Japan, but also explained by the senseis and the staff that work at KCP who know the area well and are able to give you an insight into how it is related to Japanese culture and the impact that it has on society as a whole. Something really great about these excursions is that there's such a variety of the places that you go to. For instance, we went to Asakusa and the Edo Tokyo Museum, which is great for people that are interested in the history and the culture of Japan. But we also went to Akihabara, which is an awesome spot to experience the business side of Japanese anime and video games. And these are all led by the senseis and the staff working at KCP, who have a really great understanding of the area, but also the cultural significance of these locations. So it's almost like going on a mini tour of Tokyo and getting to learn a lot more about the place that you'll be living for the next few months. KCP also organizes a lot of student-focused events, such as the class barbecue, which Ours was held at the Showakinen Park, which is this very beautiful park just west of Tokyo. And you get together with all of the other classmates from the school and you kind of just have this big barbecue right in the middle of the park and you get to try a bunch of international dishes that you may have never eaten before. And on top of that, the location that you're in is extremely beautiful and is a great photo op. One of the more memorable trips that we took while I was at KCP was to the Yamanashi Mount Fuji area. During that trip, we got to stay at a traditional Japanese inn with the rest of the US program students. And over the course of the weekend, we were able to see so many beautiful locations that surround Mount Fuji, like the Shinto shrines and the Owakudani Valley. And just the beautiful fall foliage in general is definitely something to take a look at. Overall, if I could give one word of advice to someone looking to study abroad in Japan, I would just say to make the most of every day while you're there, because being immersed in the native culture of the language you're trying to learn is just going to excel your proficiency so much faster than you're going to get back home and it's just going to be an amazing experience to step outside of your comfort zone while you're learning this language. I really can't recommend KCP enough because they make your time abroad so comfortable and provide so many opportunities to experience Japan to the fullest. So if you do end up studying with KCP, enjoy your time in Japan and good luck with the rest of your Japanese journey.